Hello beautiful humans, welcome back to The Tangent, this is episode 6. This one, I wanted to make a quick one, and just wanted to warn you that it may be laced with sarcasm. So please be aware that that may be happening, and get ready for some ranting, and let's get into it. Buckle up, lovelies. We're taking a ride through some of the quickest corners of my life on wheels. I'm Katie, and I've been doing this disabled thing since day one. This is not your typical disability education podcast. Every tangent, every detour is a chance to look behind that curtain of disabled life, unravel the threads of confusion, and discover those, whoa, that actually makes sense, moments. Eventually, this is the tangent, where laughter is the map, curiosity is the compass, and understanding blooms even in the craziest corners. Hit subscribe, grab your headphones, and get ready to be surprised, because the way to understand why is to embrace the wild, hilarious how. So let's do the thing. So sometimes you need to just uh, share things and get things off your chest. And so I ran a marathon recently. And when we run marathons as a duo team, so I run in a adapted wheelchair and I have a pilot runner who pushes me and a support runner who runs with us who like helps with my stuff and like getting water and making sure that we don't have congestion and all that kind of stuff at marathons and like any kind of running event so when you run as a duo team you get a lot of people who like make comments and i want to just take a second and it made me think of there are things that as a disabled person you hear them (laughs) and they bug you and then you let them go because like the person didn't mean it or they didn't know what they were saying or like it came from a good place all of these things so i wanted to share some of these comments and Things that people think are nice to say, but they're not really that nice to say. Like, if you say this to me, I'm not necessarily sitting there and, like, living in appreciation for the words that just came out of your mouth. And I think that, like, why I wanted to turn this into an episode here on this podcast is because we let it go so much. And I sort of don't want to let things go. I want to create, like, learning moments. And so we're going to take these as learning moments. Um, not lecturing moments. Just kind of awareness-raising opportunities where you can... If you are one of these people who say these things to disabled people, take a second before you say this and think about it at another level than just surface level because the way that i receive them is like not surface level i receive them 15 layers over thought so while we were running a couple things came up like a couple times and this bugs me a lot that when we are in a race or any kind of event where i'm with my team, my teammates are told good luck and I am told to enjoy. And that may sound pedantic or whatever, but here's the problem with that. When you tell somebody good luck, you are being like encouraging. You're being encouraging to that person. When you say enjoy, you're kind of saying have a beautiful day out there you're not recognizing that it's gonna be an effort to do whatever that person is doing we don't wish people luck for things that don't involve effort so why are you not wishing disabled people good luck we need the luck too guys 
saying it in joy and the tone changes it goes the pitch goes up which bugs me so like please stop saying to me enjoy the race you can say that but then say that to my partners as well because you're saying different things to us and we're doing the same thing so just have that awareness at the back of your mind i think (laughs) Um, there are a couple of things that, that was the big thing from the, the marathon that sort of got to me. I'm also sort of asked regularly in the races if people can swap with me. And I get told like, oh, you have the best seat in the house. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> cool, thanks. And if you ask me to swap with you, I'm like, any time, bro. But then you gotta make it a 24 hour commitment. And then I'm sort of seen as being like ungrateful or like I can't take a joke or that I didn't understand that it was coming from a good place. Like I didn't mean anything by that. And I think it's just hard to kind of always have to be the understanding one and to have why do I have to have compassion for you and your lack of understanding or the presence of your ignorance if you don't have to have that same compassion with me and that self-awareness of what you're saying having an impact you know so I think that's just like a bit hard for me to take those things with a pinch of salt yeah it can be hard and there are there are things that i have been told since i was little society can't seem to let go of vehicle related jokes for wheelchair using humans do you have a license for that thing slow down you're gonna get a fine or they say they'll take your license away or we're gonna impound your car if you go too fast. That's not funny. You're trying to make it a compliment, but I don't receive it as a compliment. And it's not me being negative or not appreciating you. It's that so many people say things to me every day that they think are being nice. They are not being nice. And maybe I'm tired today, maybe I don't want to, maybe I don't want to be engaging with you. I had this conversation with my mom (laughs) in the car, we tend to um, have these big discussions in the car wherever we're going and, and I was talking about this and how it's frustrating to me that I, I can go be in a shop or like anywhere and people feel the need to engage with me (laughs) and that can be really tiring I'm an extrovert and that's awesome that I like people and that I am fine with engaging with you it's my way of existing in the world but also in this conversation with my mom I was saying like if I was a non-disabled person would you be engaging with me or like that excited to connect with me if I was not disabled I don't think so I'm just over here trying to get some milk or trying to figure out what cereal I'm gonna want to eat for the next month I don't necessarily need you to come over and make me feel better about being in my wheelchair by making a comment about how fast I'm going maybe I don't need that maybe you need that and then maybe you need to assess why why do you feel the need to connect with me if you don't feel the need to connect with other random strangers I'm just asking reflect on that a little bit and think about what you're saying when you're saying the things that you're saying. And I might be confusing a whole lot of the situation, but we knew I was ranting. I'm just like, sometimes you just need to vent. I'm putting it all in one quick episode. 
I think a couple important things to remember, okay? So often, people say things like, and I think this is intended as a compliment, but the way it is phrased triggers me. A lot of people say to me, oh, your handwriting is even better than mine. And what you're saying in that moment is that you're not expecting me to have good handwriting when you say stuff like that to disabled people what you're saying is that i expect less of you or i expect your existence and your life experiences to be inferior to mine so maybe that's like a deep way of thinking about it but that's how i receive it when you say that so my instinctive response is why wouldn't it be And then it makes you uncomfortable because you are just trying to be nice. I think a way to kind of avoid all of this discomfort is maybe think about it like this. If you are using small filler words like if or still or even, (laughs) I think that's a not recommended filler word. If she, if Katie can do it, then you definitely can. What are you actually saying to that person? Just think about that for yourself. Definitely stay away far, far away from adding for a disabled person to anything that you say. You're pretty for a disabled person. Stop saying that, guys. You can say, oh, you're pretty, period. Don't need to add the disabled person because you're adding a whole lot more than that. I don't really know if I have an ending to this episode fully. I just felt like I needed to share that with people (laughs) because it's been frustrating me for many a year. That's not the compliment that you think it is. I hope that people can take what I'm saying not. I don't want this to be a a moment where you think I'm bitching or whatever. But, like, it gets heavy sometimes to be the one who lets stuff go. (laughs) It gets heavy to, like, not hold on to that. And so I don't want to hold on to it, so I'm going to share it. Remember, sharing is caring, and people can't... Oh, what was I saying? (laughs) Sharing is caring, and people can't care if you don't share. So I'm leaning into that today, and I hope that (laughs) you have not been these people who say these things, and if you have been... It's all right. It's a learning journey and we're going to figure it out together. And if you get called out on it by some other disabled person, just own that and apologize and be ready to do better the next time. So I hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are and I will see you in the next one.